Hello guys, welcome to another new video. Uh, before I start, I want to apologize for the audio because I don't have my equipment right here with me. So you might not get the audio that you can comprehend. But I will put subtitles on the vid in this video so you can listen to it or maybe like watch it with understand everything. So I want to uh, discuss something rather old that maybe no one has ever discussed this before around multi production scene. I want to talk about Cloud Miner. Of course, part from malware that no one recognizes Brandon. So, this, this is a malware that is very common in the music production scene. So, what is Cloud Miner? Cloud Miner is an unwanted crypto miner categorized as malicious. So this is a malware that installs with your your plugins. And the size is relatively small, bundled with the original plugin that, that's cracked that you install. And it's just XMRIC list miner that this will come handy later. And then was hosted at fiestcrack.com, but reportedly it's still online using different domains. So we start with VST crack dot something something. Last time I saw it was VST crack dot online. So you might want to watch for that. So this lot miner uh, was bundled together with the cracked so pirated software, so that you will install the software with the malware itself without you realizing. It. Was it interesting to discuss? Because first of all, it's targeting individuals in the music industry. So. I know that many individuals don't really have that much budget to spend on the original software so they will resort to uh, something more, much more cheap or even free in quote and then money is the target but not, not in real form but in resource so the perpetrator of this uh, malware is targeting to mine money in your uh, computer but not in like uh, real money like your credit cards or some credentials that you have but in like resource in your computer in your computing resource in your CPU GPU and stuff like that without you realizing it that it, it is mining cryptocurrency in your computer a lot of people will not realize its presence because most of the music plugins currently genuinely use a lot of resource so this is another concern that I that I really agree with that a lot of people might already have this in their computer but just ignore it and just decide that it was the the plugins or the, the AW that they are using that makes it uh, really laggy. And the fact that professional intellectual authors, which means this, in this particular instance is uh, the music production software company, offers the software with a high price. Well, this crafted website, fastycrash.com, something like that, offers it freely and can attract many innocent people to download it and install it. So because of this high price range, people just like, you know what, this is like $200, I don't have any money to, to spend for this, I need to eat every day. Of course I will download the free stuff from the internet, even though it, it, will, uh, it will break my computer, but it's free, so why not? And then the last one, it is self-updating, which is, will be a huge concern if you're using a traditional signature based antivirus how it works usually the file is hosted under wordpress website simple and commonly used by uh, most of malware creator so the wordpress is easy to make easy to dispose and it's basically free open source file contains several actual software the plugin itself operating software to make this miner to run in your computer linux image which is for the operating system for the malware and then several scripts to self-update and doing configuration or something like that and then lot miner will be installed and then the rest of it after that so if you install the lot install this uh, cracked software the lot miner will be installed first and then the rest of it after that so when the when the lot miner is failed to install no other software will be installed and you just basically cannot use the plugin as you want it. basically you need to install the lot miner to install your software you want lot miner will hide itself and will always start on boot 
even even when you kill the process from the task manager it will it will start on boot like when you restart your computer it will be started again and start mining in your computer and then linux virtual machine is run and mining will be done and the last scripts in this vm can contact command and control server which is like the server that owned by the malware creator to update the miner this is several example for the software that that's bundled with with this malware in the in those websites like proper had reason about life silent one nexus raptor 6 auto tune and look at those price range like nothing is under 100 dollars i found another like polyphers infected mushroom but we will get into that example later so as you can see the price is really high and you might not be able to buy it yourself indicators if you might already have it in your computer so because of the VS VST itself can run in different operating systems like Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and so forth. There will be different indicators for each system. And if you would like to check if you have it or not, you can uh, use this guide to make sure that it's not this malware that you have on your computer. So in general indicators, uh, a trust pop-up from an expected additional installer, in this case or a work actor. So in Windows version, as you can see, when you install this Polyphers Infected Mushroom Manipulator, it will also ask to install another software, which is, which in this case, Oracle Network Adapter, which is weird because uh, Polyphers is not uh, owned by Oracle or something like that. So this is the tool that they use to to run the virtual machine. The second one, high CPU consumption by a process that you did not install like Gamo or VirtualBox. Gamo is like VirtualBox that virtualizes virtual machine and stuff like that. A new service is added to the startup service list or in Mac, a new launch diamond. And the last one, that are connection to various domain names such as systemupdate.info or systemcheck.services here. So on the Mac OS, check if your system has these files like .gmo, sys, .system, .monitor, so forth and see if the directory and setup instruction look like the picture on the side. So if you if you can see, the, there are several step by step and, and the installation package itself, it was modified to also install this uh, virtual machine. It also have the setup instruction that uh, they ask to disable security to enable installing this uh, malicious, or malicious malware. Oh yeah, another thing. You can see this is a Polyphers Music Manipulator by Infected Mushroom and Virtual DJ Pro Infinity. I will also install uh, several adwares beside the miner on the Chrome and Firefox. As you can see on the Firefox, you will see Sports, something that aptly named Sports. And then for Chrome, Free Game Zone, which is uh, really something that you will not uh, realize that it's an adware. So on Windows, check if you have this folder, it's hidden. So you have to enable show hidden files before C slash VMS. We will also install Oracle VirtualBox Stealthy and the C program files Oracle as a hidden directory. So even though it's trying to install the malware, Windows Defender should pick it up. It's starting to be installation to be failed. It's top in the middle. Because you can as you can see, this is a categorized as Trojan coin miner. And check in the task manager in the details tab, see if there is a game process running that you did not run. About the VMS, it is possible to actually have a legit C slash VMS folder for one user only. And the last one on Linux, albeit a little bit tricky to detect, usually it will have these folders or files, putsync.sh, config.json, and xmbrick. What to take in this video? Don't install sketchy software from the internet. Pirated software from unknown source is dangerous, or at least scan it with the antivirus before you install it. I don't know, I'm not gonna be the judge for that. And you should be worried when the installer asks you several times for unlimited permission. You can read more about this uh, lot minor malware in this, this links that I will put in the description. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you have an enjoyable day in the middle of this uh, lockdown. I will see you on the next video.